Hi guys, welcome back to Stranger Times. A very untidy Stranger Times as you can see behind me. Um, so just a couple of things first off. So in the next coming weeks, the the way the channel looks is going to change uh, on all devices and the name of the channel is also going to change. I'm still going to keep Stranger Times in the name, but I'm just going to have a couple of different words. Also, I'm going to start uploading more variety of videos. So I'm going to be doing more exploration videos and old castles and ancient places like that around the UK. Um, I'm also going to be uploading some, uh, it's like metal detecting, but it's called mudlarking, where you go to rivers and, and search like the river beds to find uh, ancient artifacts and amazing things like that. So uh, keep your eyes open for them. Really, really interesting and some amazing finds as well. also in the next coming weeks i'm going to start doing uh, some live stream paranormal chats with different youtubers especially a good friend of stranger times which is our paranormal world hello so if you're not subscribed to them then please do because they're an amazing channel the link is down there somewhere or somewhere yeah so go check them out yeah so that's about it guys. If you've not yet subscribed, please do because it helps the channel and it helps me make more content for you guys um, and keeps me, you know, keeps me going. So that's great. Also hit the notifications button and also if you like a video, press the like button as well. Uh, so thanks very much for that guys and yeah, see you soon. Cheers. Oh yeah. <laughs> So, onto this first photo. This is the first picture that I found. Now, to me, you can see three points of light with another point of light coming out the end. Okay, so I've just zoomed out. I'm going to zoom back in in a second. Um, but this one struck me. I mean, it, what does it look like to you? It, to me, it looks like a massive piece of metal in the sky. Okay. Um, I'm going to zoom in, I think. Come on, Steve. There we, go. there we go. So we're zooming in again. Just look. You can't even see see it at the moment because it's uh, so far into the picture. There we go. So you've really got to look for these things. And they're there. They're in virtually every single photo. You know, this isn't a lens flare. It, it isn't you know light pollution or anything like that this is what you see you know you can see shade you can see shadow you can see reflection that is definitely something solid in the moon's skies just look at it tell me what you think that is guys to me it looks like a TR3B triangle shape and it won't be the last in this video so yeah please leave a comment in the comments down below with your thoughts or what you think these uh, images are and I'll be brutally honest with you in this video as well to what I think they are Excuse me. so I think this one I'm zooming in on now uh, is just like a little grey speck um, again it's something out there it could be a star it really could be a star you know um, there we go, there's one just up the, yep, that one there. So, you know, that's as far as I can zoom in without using my imaging software. But, you know, there's nothing there. When you look at the pictures, there's nothing there. And you've got to really look hard and sometimes you get rewarded like what you've just seen. So, and this one is, uh, like a, a blue flare of some sort again this you know this could be some type of glitch but why why would it be a tiny 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 glitch in the middle of space above the moon surface right out there you know that's a bit strange that one but we're going to come on to some better ones so don't worry but yeah, extremely odd. Hey, 
the moon and Roger were just sat there on the moon. Fantastic, look at that. So these uh, these ones that we're zooming into now, again, these could be stars, you know. The reason we don't see stars, but I don't think this could be a star. It could be a galaxy, if I zoom in in a second a little bit more. You can see that there's definitely some solid object there at the lower half of the the light or the orb um, and with sort of a trail behind it of some sort I don't know but you know it, it could be a star it could be a, a planet um, but the reason we don't see stars in these photos is because of the atmosphere and things like that on the moon and also the equipment that they were using um, wasn't letting enough light in to be able to see the stars just like when you take a, a photo with your phone of the stars um, or in my case my phone it's useless for capturing stars it just can't do it so now on this one I'm 100% in saying that that's lens flare okay um, even though it does look like an amazing TR3B or the Phoenix Lights uh, UFO triangle, okay? Um, and then just to the right where I'm where my cursor is now you can vaguely Really not so clear see that there's another Triangle sort of replicated itself to the right. So that's why I think that that is a lens flare. Okay, that's not a, a massive massive UFO that is a lens flare okay but what we're gonna see next is um, is quite amazing so zoom in I just like to say that when I'm v viewing these images before I edit them they are so so crystal clear and as soon as you put them into the editing software um, they're not as clear like this one now this one blew my mind just like the first one there's four spherical orbs okay it's, to me it, again it looks like a TR3B it's triangle shape or diamond shape whichever way you look at it but again it's something there it's a solid object okay you've got shade you've got shadow it's uh, it's quite amazing to be honest What I will do, I will put some uh, quality HD um, photos up on my Instagram account and Twitter account. I'll put the descriptions down below for that at some point. In the uh, descriptions, the links, sorry, to that. Or just search Stranger Times Paranormal 77 for Twitter and exactly the same for Instagram. But yeah, this is uh, this is intriguing, quite amazing as well. Again, guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. And please, if you like this video, please like it, please subscribe, and please share the hell out of it as well. I need these videos to go viral. Okay. I need people to be seeing these videos and to be learning what's out there. I'm not saying that it's aliens and things, you know, because um, I want to get monetization for this at some point. I'm just showing you what's out there. And with the government saying that, you know, these tit tat UFOs are real and the Pentagon pretty soon uh, are going to be admitting that uh, these UFOs aren't made on Earth, which could mean that they're made on the moon or on Mars or that they are extraterrestrial. So. At some point, it's going to come out. Right, let's crack on to this next next video. Uh, next picture, sorry. So this one, again, I've seen similar to this um, shaped object, whatever it is, um, on another channel called Street Cap 1. Now, uh, Street Cat passed away a couple of years ago 
unfortunately. Um, he was amazing and his channel was absolutely fantastic. His channel, I believe, is still out there. I'm still subscribed to his channel, so go check him out. Um, but yeah, rest in peace, book, mate. He was a Scottish fella. Really good, and he was quite good friends with Secure Team 10 as well, and Tyler. So, yeah, and I miss Tyler. <laughs> but never mind. This is what I've done the channel for, so people can still get to see these things but yeah it's amazing this one as well there's all sorts of things in these in these photos and then I think we are going on to the last picture now. Um, now this one is uh, is pretty amazing as well. Remember, guys, these are all there for you to go and see. Now this one, again it doesn't look as clear as what it does on the uh, original page, but uh, it looks like um, like a dumbbell or a barbell, so two balls either end of a, uh, a rod, yeah? Um, but where I've got the cursor now, there's an opening or, or a shaded area that looks like an opening um, on that one but again you can see you know you can see shadow you can see different shade and reflection so again it is definitely something that's out there that's flying about or sat there in space absolutely interesting make sure you watch all the way to the end as well because I've got some other photos of um, some strange bits and bobs that I found so I'll put them up at the end as well or onto uh, my Twitter and in Instagram account Right, I think on to the last one now. If I can sort them. Right. So this one's very interesting. Oh no, this is this one. Sorry, I'm getting confused now with, with where I am. So this one, again, what do you think? Could that be a glitch? It looks very TR3B shaped, just like in my last videos. Some of the stuff I put in my last videos on UFOs. Classic TR3B, to be honest. Just just there. You know, but you know, that could be a glitch because there's no shade or shadow. Um, you know, it's just a a dark mass and a triangular TR3B shape. But I thought I would include this one. But I think now onto the last one for this video. So what you're seeing there is lens flare, light anomalies. Okay, that's all all to do with the camera. All them light spots you're seeing. That's all to do with the camera and the lenses and the sun and reflections, okay? Well, I, I hope it is anyway, otherwise um, there's some massive UFOs. <laughs> but no, yeah, that's that's lens flare, typical lens flare, okay? But what you're about to see in a second... Oh, 
not not this one though. Oh, is it this one? Yes, it is this one. Yeah. Right now, this is so so far out there. It's unbelievable. What do you guys think that this is? Now that's not a reflection. That's not lens flare. It's got shape. It's got shadow. It's got structure. Look at it. It looks like a pair of binoculars, to be honest. Absolutely mind blowing. And that's zoomed out, so obviously you ain't going to see it. And zoom in, and it, it it's there. It is right there. What is that? A lot of people will say, oh, you, you're flipping, seeing things, or you're making things up, or whatever, but it's right there. You know, pictures, well, pictures can lie, but not 100% uh, NASA proof pictures like this. This is right, right slap bang, right in your face. Okay. Fantastic. I love it. Absolutely love it. Right, on to the last one. Now this one blew me away, this last one. Um, it is quite... Uh, it's quite epic, to be honest. So we go straight in. And we're in... Can you see it? So the ones on the right, there, with, above the cursor, that's been uh, light anomalies, and that thing, right there, floating in the middle of space, minding his own business, up until I come along and go, hello, what the hell is that? Again, that is something, that is it has shape, it has structure, it has shadows, shade, it has reflections. What the heck is that? It reminds me of um, when the Starship Enterprise goes into fight mode and the disc comes off and, you know, carters the people away to safety and then you, you're left with the, uh, the fighter part, which is what that looks like. Um, I'm not saying it's a Starship Enterprise. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> but uh yeah, it it's it's fascinating. And then this little thing next to it. You know, that could be a star. Could be, you know, sun, but I doubt it. Could be. But the other object to the left of it, it isn't. I mean it's right slap bang there. Look at that. <clears throat> excuse me for clearing my throat right that's it for this video guys thanks for watching again if you if you enjoyed this video hit the uh, thumbs up please subscribe hit the notifications button and share the hell out of this video and all the other videos with your friends and family and anybody else you want to really so uh, yeah until the next time thanks a lot <laughs>